Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Legacy Farm of the Podcast. This is your host, J.C. Young, and today's topic and discussion is this, God does not reward victims. So going to be a pretty uh, in-your-face, a little bit type of uh, conversation today, my friends. So we get a lot of new members, obviously, coming into Legacy Farmer. And, you know, guys, when you think about business or uh, starting a business or any businesses that exist today, all businesses um, were you know, in the beginning created to solve problems. Like when you think about it, like dumb down, what, a, what is a business? A business is something that solves a problem inside of today's world. And Legacy Farmer, we obviously solve a problem focused inside of the ag industry when it's fam- working with family and then numbers across the board and taxes and estate planning and all that type of stuff that we obviously do. And you've heard me talk about in other episodes. Now, the thing is though, is that when, when people come into your business, they are coming to you because they have a problem. And um, a lot of times, it, you know, it, we we deal with the simple fact that um, a lot of members, when they first come in, they've listened to the podcast before, they've watched some of the videos, and they've went through a bunch of content and stuff like that. And inside of that content, you know, they they get out of victimhood, right? Whereas they're like ready to take action, ready to make a change. They're done being a victim and just settling for where they're at inside of their life. And this is a massive, massive step because here's the reality. We have some members that come into Legacy Farmer and they still want to continue being a victim. They still want to bitch and moan and complain and all this type of stuff. And the reality is, is long term, they're not going to be a fit for our program because we do not, um, victims just typically don't survive here. Like, because the people inside of our program, 300 plus members are proactive. They're not, you know, whining about things. They're here to take action. They're here to have critical conversations that they've been, been avoiding having with their family or their bank or their accountant or whoever, so that they can start getting the results that they want. At the end of the day, the results that you get inside of your life for your family and your business are all that matters. And you've heard me say this before, but the reality is, is if you are stuck inside of victimhood, you are never going to achieve anything. And you are going to be sitting on the sidelines, whining like a little baby and sitting in victimhood, wondering why good things won't happen to you. Well, the simple reality is God does not reward victims. He doesn't over and over again. Some of you guys have been sitting on the sidelines for years, some of you for decades, and you've built this mentality of, I'm just going to complain. I'm going to look for the negative today. I'm just going to complain, and I'm going to complain, and I'm going to complain, and I'm never going to actually look in the mirror. I'm never actually going to face the reality that I've created inside of my life. And guys, I'm not saying that I've always had this perfect, because I definitely haven't. We all go through a phase where we're just victims in life, and I was honestly... I left the bank in 2016. I was a victim even after I left the bank for two years because you just look at how much of a challenge it was for me to figure out entrepreneurship and to start a business and to conquer one problem after another, after another, after another. It's easy to just drift into being a victim versus now, you know, being six years into it and and looking at how much, you know, how far we've come and the amount of members we've been able to impact and just how much Legacy Farmer has grown. Every time I face a problem now, it's like, okay, like there's going to be another lesson here. Like this is happening for a reason. God is putting this into my life for a reason. No different than what he was doing to me in 2016 and 2017. He kept putting problems into my life for a reason. One was to help me grow, but two, those ultimately got me out of victimhood. But again, though, some people, they don't think about it that way. So they say stuck in victimhood forever. And again, God does not reward victims. And he started bringing in a lot of great things into my life when I finally got to that point in my life where I was done. Like I was done settling for where I was at. I was done settling for the results that I was getting for myself and my family. I was just done. And a lot of you listen to this right now. I know you can resonate with this because being inside of the ag industry and just, you know, you're, you're by yourself a lot of the time and you're trying to figure things out and you got all these other external factors that are, can ultimately impact your results until you get to the point to where you are done being a victim and you are going to start setting some standards inside of your life. In the end of 2018, beginning of 2019 is when I started setting those standards. That's when I stopped settling. And that's also when I started Legacy Farmer. I had avoided starting this for a couple of years, trying to figure out other avenues and other ways to go to generate, you know, the life that I wanted for my family, not realizing if I would just listen to God two years earlier and stop being the victim and start a legacy farmer, then, then everything would have worked out pretty darn well. And it would have happened a lot faster, but I get, I just, I was stuck in victimhood. I was stuck in victimhood. And that ultimately kept me back from getting the results that I wanted for a couple of years, for a couple of years. Now, <laughs> the reason I'm sharing some of this with you is because it hasn't been just a couple of years for some of you. Some of you, it's been five years. Some of you, it's been 10 years. Some of you, it's been several, several decades. And after a while, that can really start to weigh on you. It gets heavy. It it really does. It truly does. And it not only just weighs on you, but eventually that cascades over into every other area of your life as well. 
And, you know, inside of Legacy Farmer, we focus on four key areas of life, which is body, being, balance, and business. Some of you guys, um, when you look at your body and if you've been, you know, stuck in victimhood for several years now, you look at your body, you take your shirt off. Yeah. Most of you are not going to be happy with uh, the results, the results that you have, <laughs> like just being straight up and honest with you. I wasn't, I definitely wasn't. Um, especially after, you know, 2017, 2018, um, two years of just struggling and failing and being a victim. And then, you know, what are you going to take that out on? What are you going to take your stress out on? What are you going to take um, that anxiety out on? Well, it's pretty easy just to neglect your body and eat like shit and drink whatever you want and not pay attention there. And then being is, you know, more about your connection to God and the stories that you tell inside of your head. And again, when you're stuck in victimhood, what do you think a victim, what type of stories do you think a victim has rolling around on their head 24 seven all day, driving around in the truck or the tractor, or the combine, just sitting there by themselves with their own thoughts? You want to know why a majority of people have to listen to the radio or a podcast 24 seven, because we can't stand the stories that go on inside of our own head. Like, think about that. That's a very important point that I'm making there. We cannot stand the stories that go on inside of our own head when we don't have something else to kind of take our take our uh, attention away from it. And that's a big thing here. And then it bleeds over into balance, which is your, which is your relationship with your, your wife and your kids and your family or anybody else important inside of your life. So these all cascade and bleed into business. But again, if you're just stuck in being a victim, you're not going to be on point in any one of these areas. And that's just the truth. You're just not going to be there. It's not going to work out well for you. It's not going to end up getting you the results that you want. So a lot of the members, when they're coming into Legacy Farmer, they've listened to the podcast like this one that I'm talking about right now. They've went through the process. They've looked at the testimonials like they're done being a victim. And you have to get to that point. There's got to be a breaking point there. There's got to be a point of no return. Like I'm done settling for this shit of life that I've created and this reality that I've created. I'm done trying to blame other people. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to take accountability for every result that I have inside of my life right now, because it doesn't matter what your banker does, what your accountant does, what your father does, what your brother does, what your uncle does, what your wife does, what your, what anybody does at the end of the day, you're the one ultimately in control. If they made a decision that ultimately negatively, negatively impacted your life, it's because you allowed them to make that decision, just so you know. It's because you did not say something, or it's because you did not do something, or because you did not think through a situation enough, and you allowed them too much leeway. And now some of the things that they're doing are having a negative impact on you. Well, you're welcome. God is trying to remind you to stop being a victim and to start setting some standards inside of your life. And it's just a very important thing that a lot of people need to understand and, uh, and step into. And I promise you, my friends, once you start doing this, um, things are going to change really quickly for you. Like you'll notice this. And we've seen this with the members inside of Legacy Farmer. When they come in, they've had massive problems with their family or they've had massive problems with their finances or with their banker or with their accountant or anything like that. And they step in here and they're like, I'm done settling and I'm going to find the courage to go have those crucial conversations and start getting different results because of it. So like, for example, here, we keep track of, we keep track of like our interest savings for our members. So a lot of our members, when they come in, you know, legacy farmer and specifically farmer metrics is the first time that they're actually seeing their numbers dumbed down in a simplified enough way to where they're actually organized, where they can see exactly what their position is with the bank and, you know, really how much leverage they have. And so a lot of the conversations with members coming in, is going back and renegotiating rates with the bank. And just this year alone, just this year alone, for one year in interest savings, we're at $300,000 for our members. That's just per year, 300,000 per year. But a majority of the notes that they're refinancing, they're longer than one year. Majority of them are long-term, whether it's a 10 year or 20 year note. So over 20 years, guys, we surpassed $6 million in savings. So you need to understand here, like if these members don't come in here, they don't stop being a victim inside of their own world. They are never going to save that money. That's $6 million in interest that would have been an in interest that is now going back to our members' families because they decided to stop being a victim, because they decided to start taking action, because they decided to start to start getting uncomfortable and producing results for themselves that they'd never been able to achieve before. And Legacy Farmer was the answer for them, and this is great, and I'm super excited about it. It's a very powerful metric that we're going to pay attention to going forward um, because it motivates. There's like a cascading effect inside of our network where when we celebrate one member, you know, the amount of interest that they've saved by going in and talking to their bank and, you know, rebuilding their relationship with their bank and proving that they know what they're doing with Farmer Metrics and just, you know, we, we're really increasing their education and knowledge around how the banking system works. And when we celebrate them inside of the network, there, there's a cascading effect because now that's going to motivate somebody else who has been honestly scared to go have this conversation with their banker or with anybody, but just talking banking and going in and renegotiating rates and, and things like that, you know, it's motivating everybody to take action, you know, $300,000 in one year in interest savings over 20 years, that's $6 million. So guys, like this is, 
it's a big thing. It's a big deal. And when you decide to literally hit that breaking point, you decide, Hey, I'm done being a victim. I'm going to invest the time, energy, and money into where I need to. So I can start getting some drastic changes inside of my world because I am sick and tired of just settling for the results that I, that I have produced. I have produced not somebody else that's produced them for me that I have produced. So my friends, I hope at the end of the day, whatever you take from this podcast is to go take action. To, to stop being a victim, to stop sitting in your own little bubble where you want to cry and be a victim and, and blame everybody else for the world that you created because you created it. And I, I'm just going to promise you this. Once you do start taking different actions and you start doing things differently, you will be rewarded. Like God will reward you because you are finally listening and going in and taking these different steps going forward so that you can produce a different result. And once you start doing this too, he's going to open up different doors for you. And that has been my direct experience. And it's been the experience of all the members inside of Legacy Farmer. So my friends, hope you found this episode valuable. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one. We will catch you on the next one. 